Hi, I'm Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my March bullet journal setup. I had a really hard time figuring out what I wanted to do for my theme this month, but I decided to go with kind of California spring break theme um, because towards the end of the month I am going to California for spring break. So I just wanted to, you know, get myself excited for the trip and um, California is obviously a very aesthetic location too. So I found a bunch of pictures of California things and printed those out to add into my bullet journal for this month. Let's get right into it. I wanted to start off by showing you how I'm getting these photos. I went to Pinterest and searched Los Angeles, scrolled through all of the photos, and when I find one I like, I give it a click, copy the image, and then I paste it onto Affinity Designer, which is the um, design application that I use on my computer. There is a cost associated with that program, but if you wanted to do this for free, you could definitely do it on Canva. But you see, I just added a bunch of photos and filled up a normal eight and a half by 11 page that I could print out. The bigger image on there is actually from unsplash.com that has a lot of incredible photography on it. So you can definitely check out that site as well. We are cracking into my Reflaris bullet journal and starting to plan for March. I'm very excited. Um, it's a little bit of a different setup. I'm cutting out some of these photos that I printed that I was showing you earlier. So this is a bigger one from Unsplash and I was super excited when I found it. It is a view of the Hollywood sign out of a plane window. I was having some trouble with my white gel pen, but going over with enough layers, I finally got it to look about the way I wanted it to. Now I'm doing my monthly grid and just getting that all set up. I do my calendars a Monday to Sunday setup, just so you know. Um, I didn't actually mark the days across the top this time because I just know that's how I do it. <laughs> I wanted to let the pen ink dry a little bit before I had stuck that in. That's why I went a little bit out of order, I guess. I used my ruler to try and get it to lay nice and flat. And then I went back over to my grid and added the title, March 2020. I had to fold it a couple times to make sure it would lay nicely. And then I went in and started working on my finance tracker. So this is something I added in the month of February a little bit later. Um, and I think it's good to just kind of keep in mind how much money you're spending. And then on the other side, I'm doing my YouTube tracker. So being able to plan out what videos I want to be making in March. And along the bottom here, I have my little tracker for sub count and then all of the different tasks I do when creating a YouTube video that I can X out every time I complete. Now I am going and cutting out the rest of the images that I found. I ended up printing out um, a whole page of these smaller images and then the bigger image on its own piece of paper. Um, I'm going to try and find a way to link the document, which had all of the photos I picked out on it, in case you guys want to use some of them as well. This is a spring break planning page I wanted, so I have a little LA checklist um, that I found on Pinterest, as well as a couple nice images. So that is where I am planning to put like my flight information, some of the things I want to do, all of that fun stuff. Now I'm going in and doing my weekly pages, and so these are um, basically exactly like all of my other spreads you might have seen. It's inspired by line.unfolding on Instagram, and I've adapted it to how I like to use it. But this has been a lifesaver when it comes to my academic schedules because I'm able to really time block out my day, and I do a lot of different things, so keeping track of all of that is really important to me. week nine there. I have my running task list across the side as well. Here you'll see I 
skipped ahead because all of those weekly spreads are the same and now I'm doing my spring break week because I don't need that time blocking for spring break. I won't be quite as busy, or maybe I will, um, but I am adding some nice images and writing spring break at the top. Then I went back through the other pages and I added some of the images in the empty space that I always have. I just used double-sided tape on this and then glued down some of the corners that were sticking up a little bit more. Now we're doing our flip through. So here's my finance and YouTube trackers, the spring break planning page, all of my academic pages to finish out the end of winter quarter. I think it'll be really nice having those images to have spring break on my mind throughout the rest of March. And here's my empty space to really just have fun with while I'm in California. Hopefully I'll be able to add some of my pictures that I take while I'm there in here too. And that is it for March. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me set up my March bullet journal. I really enjoyed doing it and I think it looks really nice. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you really liked it, feel free to subscribe. I do these bullet journal videos every month. Thank you. Bye.